Welcome back to episode number five of the Turing Test uh, Let's Play series that I've been doing. And so far, um, this game keeps getting better and better. The level design of chapter four so far, I want to say there's like eight chapters. I could be wrong about that. But so far, level four, I think, has by far been the best puzzles, um, the most creative. Um, it took me roughly twice as long to finish chapter four. And um, so far, I'm enjoying it. So let's dive in. Let's continue our game where we left off. The uh, formula of just uploading one full chapter per Let's Play video seems to be working. And although last video's uh, last video was like way, way too long, I think an hour and a half is a really long video for someone to sit down and watch. Um, I still think um, it's probably a good way to do things. So I'm gonna keep doing it. All right, here we go. Ava, are you okay? Why didn't you tell me? What? Ava, you said it yourself. Teleoperation makes sense. We used drones on Mars. Why not use drones on Europa? Not human drones. Okay, so as we left off at the end of the last chapter, we've gained an ability to manipulate the cameras as if we were the machine and this is now going to be incorporated I think into the rest of the puzzles which is going to add a whole another level why did the ISA install implants in the crew to what we're doing it is due to the fundamental aspects of human behavior which together constitute what the International Space Agency calls the human element it has been made clear that the human element is neither peripheral nor optional in the pursuit of space. However, the human element is unpredictable. The implants are failsafe, put in place to ensure that the thoughts and actions of the crew matches the desires of the ISA. Why control people? Can't you trust us? We chose to install biometric chips in all ISA astronauts for one simple reason. We cannot trust people. The stakes are far too high. It was determined that though the probability of life on Europa being dangerous was low, the risk to humanity was catastrophic. I'm trying not to talk too we much. We could not let a small contingent of humanity endanger the whole. I'm trying not to talk too much during the story parts um, so that you guys can hear what's going on. Although, um, so far, we haven't encountered any puzzles that were too difficult at all with the new mechanic we've been introduced to. I'm assuming that's going to change. Um, so the point of this is to use our new uh, powers as this guy to um, switch this door. So I'm assuming that what we have to do is position ourselves in a place where we can see that from the other side of the door. Okay, here we go. Okay, this is pretty easy. I think these are just kind of like setup puzzles. Um, okay, interesting. So, as soon as we flip that, we are no longer in a position. How do we switch out of here? We can't, right? Or can we? Oh, okay, that's retarded. All right, so we can just leave the camera and at any point we want, which makes a lot more sense. For some reason, I was thinking we needed line of sight incorporated with the puzzles, and we absolutely do not. Which really changes things. I've been, I guess I just kind of assumed that that's the what was going on. The proven our distrust of human explorers was warranted. When we informed them they were grounded, they responded violently with sabotage and subterfuge. They have continued to seek their own benefit above that of the ISA. Okay, first things first, but I've been learning before we mess around with anything to just come up and take a look at what we're dealing with, right? So we need to get an orb up here. Now, are we able to hit the camera from up here? We are. And we can switch this box. Let's see what happens. When we do that. Okay, we're still in the exact same position. I 
I think it looks like what we need to do, I mean, obviously we need to be able to take this ball up top, right? Okay, I'm just gonna mess with this because I'm not really sure what it, we're supposed to do. I know it involves the camera, of course. Let's just try switching this, see what happens. Okay, so that changes, right? But obviously we still need to have this up here. So the question is, how do we get up here? What sequence can we do to get this thing up here? Is there anywhere else we can go? I don't think there's anywhere else we can go with this. Um, let's get back into... Oh, we can actually just shoot the thing. Okay. <laughs> I didn't I didn't realize. Okay, so when we had the first um, orb in here, obviously you don't have line of sight, but you do have line of sight for that one. Right, so now we can easily switch back into our character, run up the ramp, and then pluck this out of here. Which then gives us access to this one. Although I'm wondering if maybe we should be uh, switching it back probably before we come back out. Okay, that's still closed. So that last one is controlled by the camera. Although now we have access back over here again. So let's get back in the camera and see if this gives us any more options. Uh, so far I don't see any. It looks like what's gonna, what we're going to need to be able to do. Oh, we can retrieve it from this side. Okay. There we go. Okay, so, so far we got that. If we shoot this down here, we will not be able to retrieve it from up here, I don't think. But it looks like we're gonna have to in order to be able to activate this. And since that's the only door left, I think this is the one we want. So let's hit the camera. Switch this so that it gets the door open. Oh, switch back. Now we can run around, door should be open, and then we'll be free to... Okay, now we can just grab it from down here. Voila! Okay, so all in all, that this was actually a, a pretty easy puzzle, of human I think. Rights. You've made me into a human drone, a slave! Okay, we got How could the ISA one box such orb? A thing? You may be consumed by a moral outrage. A magnet but here, a magnet there. sometimes the removal of freedom is for the greater moral good. A ramp? You're a machine! You don't a even pressure know what plate is. with our orb. Okay, is this what... Okay, so this one keeps this door open. Gotcha. Okay, so first thing to do would be to... Let's mess with this and see what happens. Okay, so that... It's making the sound like it's activating, but it's not doing anything without it being plugged in, obviously, right? So let's leave that there, and... Let's just drop this box down. Now, where are the controls for this? Is it up here, probably? Okay, and of course, don't forget about this one. I stumbled the first time I um, saw these magnets not noticing that up top on one of those earlier puzzles. Okay, so the I think the idea to get this open is probably to get... I, we didn't test it, but I'm assuming this door is exactly what opens this. You can see the cable going down, right? So the question is, how do we get this box? How do we get this box over here? And it's going to be through this system of magnets. I am completely positive. The question is... Oh, we have a camera up top. Okay, let's switch to the camera. Will this allow us... Oh, this is awesome. Okay, it allows us to control this. Oh, it's totally free. This is crazy. Okay, so... We're able to move this. Um, that's as far as it goes, right? Okay, so here's the question. How do we get... Are we able to turn this on and off? We are by shooting that orb. The question is, can we... How far will this one go? Is it enough to pick that up? I'm not so sure it is. And then we've got this in the middle, which I still don't know what that does. 
Let's, okay, so before we fuck around with this too long, let's figure out exactly what this part does, because I think that's gonna be a solution, or part of the solution. Okay, so the box is on the ground now. What? <laughs> that's hilarious, dude. Okay, now this is easy. Like, we can easily just go grab this using this guy. All right, let's go switch back to the camera. You know, honestly, the camera is making this a little bit easy. Or easier, I think. Okay, it's, uh, it's over. All right, let's grab this out of here. That's gonna drop down. And then we turn on the pressure plate and doors open. Okay, so that's a, this, that was actually a very this easy puzzle. That's why the ground crew doesn't trust you, Tom. And I don't really know if I like the, you the new made camera them into mechanic drones. or not yet. You stole their free will. Free will is an illusion. They have put their interests above the interests of the ISA and of humanity. That is why they distrust me. Yeah, there must they be a camera no here somewhere. My control if it aligned with their ignoble goal. How could they trust a machine that has a back door to their minds? You can always trust a machine to be logical. I will always do the right thing. You'll always do the logical thing. Okay, so we're able to manipulate these manually. I guess um, I'm gonna try switching back really quick and once we have that raised up, does that give us enough room? Okay, it does. So this is a very easy puzzle again. Let's get back up in the camera and... Uh, I mean, this is so easy, it's kind of um, annoying, honestly. Hop over into this one. Get the orb. Get it in there. Camera. Boost her up. Switch back. There we go. I mean, I really this hope the rest slavery. of the puzzles aren't like this. Do not be so melodramatic. You signed up for this. You had the implant installed. This is not slavery. This is for the good of humanity. I didn't know. Every member of the team had the implant installed into their right hand. Every member of the team agreed. Ava, you must learn to control him. Okay, so we've got this movable platform. Question is, what do we need to use it for? Let's go take a look. Um, so I see nothing over here other than this platform, the orb that we have. So are we able to hit this? Did that do anything for us? Did that open the door? No, of course not. Oh, I know what to do. We just go through the door, we get on the platform, we move over, we shoot it, we come back. I gotta say, these puzzles so far... I mean, to be fair, the, the puzzles in the beginning of the other chapters were very easy. And I'm wondering if it's gonna ramp up the difficulty, but... At this point, this is, this is kinda silly, honestly. My implants protect you from the power. I wonder if we can get this chapter done will. faster than the rest of them. You can either subject your mind to logic, or you can resist. Okay, we got and a have camera the up top. Of your basis desires. We got the ramp. The desire to survive the over camera. the desire to save others. And it looks like just an area, just to walk up. Interesting. What am I missing here? I don't see anything else up here. Okay, let's switch back. Okay, that's where we came in, obviously. Let's go up top. Oh, it just moves it down. Okay, so now we can get the orb. Out of it. Oh, it starts coming back up, like, right away. Okay. Um, so question. We shoot it and then take it out immediately. What does it do? 
Okay, we can hit it from here. So is this gonna be a speed game? Just Okay, now that's that's gonna be very hard to do that very quickly. So question. Is that the correct thing to do, or is there a better way to do this? Obviously, the camera needs to trigger that in order to work. And the only way that's going to happen is if it's down on the ground. I'm really wondering if this might just be a speed thing. I mean, it might not be. Oh, we don't need to do it. Okay. It doesn't need to be done um, as it's as the orbs in that one. You can just just do it and move on. Is that really that easy? It is. Wow. All I right. Do not uh, understand your obsession this game is going will. downhill in a hurry, guys. Researchers Train have test. found that the subconscious makes decisions up to ten seconds before your conscious mind becomes aware of it. Okay, we got two so, blocks, two orbs in there for this will door. Is nothing but an illusion. I we have one more orb in here. Because it does not exist. Okay, what I does can, this do? however, influence your subconscious to make the right decisions. That is not wrong. That just opens this door. That's it. Okay, I'm assuming we had to move this. Otherwise, it wouldn't be there. So let's go. Let's hop down here and take a look around. So this is where we came in. We get this one ladder. And of course, we're going to have um, a camera system somewhere. This needs three. Where's our camera? I don't see a camera. I don't see a camera. We've got this green room in the middle. Which, I can't tell. Is there a door to it? No, there's not. It almost I, I almost get the impression like there'd be something inside there, but it might just be there for effect. Because it looks kind of cool. Um, okay, so we can get the orb from here, correct? Alright, that's our option. That That's why we wanted to move that. There's our first box. Okay, um, let's grab that back, put it back in here, grab our box. Okay, so there's two, we just need to go back and get the other one. Let's move this guy back over. I think I already know how to do this puzzle. It's just going to be uh, lining this up so we can shoot it through the window in the other room next door. Which I think that should that should be a good enough fit. Grabbing this box, coming over here. Picking up this one. Okay, now we have access to this last orb. So let's put this down for a second. So it looks like we'll have to move this back over one more time. Maybe to give it a little room. The question is, oh, actually, okay. So we do have one last thing to do is how do we get the, how do we get the orb over to the other side? Because we can, obviously we can't take it up the, um, we can't take it up the stairs. Interesting. All right, so do we have a camera anywhere in this spot? I didn't actually bother to look. I didn't notice one in there or there. Oh, we can just put the box in, okay. All right, so you put the box in, then we switch it for the orb when it gets to the other side. God, man, this feels like super lazy level design. I mean, the other puzzles at least um, took a little bit longer to figure out. I mean, this is... This is just busy work. Oh, what am I doing? Okay, I'm retarded. I have no idea why I just did that. You can't just manipulate someone's mind. Your parents manipulate you. Your friends manipulate you. Your society manipulates you, and your experiences manipulate you. Manipulate is not a dirty word. 
you manipulate clay to make art. If people are manipulated okay, so to this make one does the... then that is a good thing. Oh, what's the robot this is why society what? Okay, this is cool. the adverse effects of drinking and driving. This is cool. To manipulate people into making better decisions for the common good. Interesting. Okay, so we got the, the we got the robot. It's altering someone's physical mind. It removes my power to decide. I'm gonna go over here really quick before we go you back never up had and uh, see what we got. So it is better that I have it. You okay, are so either a slave to, to your jump impulses, over. What does this do? Or a slave to mine. Okay, this is some kind of. Um, that powers up. Whoops. That powers up that line, which it looks like transfers over to opening that door. Let's go up here and take a look. So it looks like we're going to need the robot on the other side. Can we just drive the robot all the way up and around? I wonder. Oh, we can. Interesting. Oops. <laughs> okay, that was stupid. First of all, we need to switch back out so I can get back into, uh, whoops. So I can, uh, be the switch for a minute. Okay, let's, uh, oh, I guess we better line them up in a better spot, huh? Okay, let's line them up where we can actually see them. Get them, like, right on the corner here. Okay, switch to the robot, drive him across. I almost have this feeling like maybe it's supposed to fall down. The problem, I guess, will be switching back to the person. Whoops, no, 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 fuck. See, because now we're not able to switch back. So the problem is doing this in the right spot so that we can switch back to us, where we are standing, right there. Whoops, no! So if we do it right over this, then essentially, the robot would fall down. Maybe we don't need to do that. I'll just try switching back right here. Okay, so the robot just fell, right? Now, do, is it just as simple as moving the robot onto the platform now? And then switching back. Okay, our door's open. I wonder if that was, I wonder if that was it. That's it? This is the God evil damn it, Eva. Turing test. This is why is we this have the to end stop the leaving the Europa, Eva. Holy shit, what dude. What is it? Mostly extremophile. What a shit fucking Tiny level. Tiny single cellular life. It can never leave Europa. It could potentially destroy Earth's ecosystem if it were ever introduced. Hmm. I'm gonna poke around here for a second. This kind of shit's interesting, but not really interesting. You know, at the same time, it's... It, there's no purpose to really fucking around and looking at this stuff. Um, except for the, trying to get some back study, or back study, backstory, you know what I mean. Ethanol. Maybe we can find some bleach for that last level. Jesus, dude, that was disappointing, to say the least. The, the, the best level, level four, followed up by the worst one. Can we get in? No. All right, was that really the end of the fifth chapter? I mean, I don't want to bitch, but I gotta, I gotta look really quick. Okay, we're in chapter six. All right, so I guess this is gonna be a two-chapter uh, let's play. Do you video. understand? Abe? Depending on how long this fucking video is already, how long is it? Twenty? Nah, twenty-five minutes. You know what? Fuck it. I'm just gonna do this as a separate video. Might as well, right? Okay, so guys, <laughs> chapter five sucked. That was dumb. So I'm gonna end this video here, and we're gonna start back up literally right here.